good, man. What's good? Right. I wanted to talk to you about, you know what I mean, the gun run from, uh, from Atlanta to New York. How long have you been in the business of selling weapons? Since around about 1998. But when I moved up here to Atlanta, I got introduced to running the guns from Atlanta up to New York, where I found out that it's a better market as far as money-wise. Now I'm here for cheap and just take them up there and sell them for more. Where are these guns on the table? Where are they off to? Five of these are the best ones are going to New York, where we got a strong foothold with, you know what I'm saying, blood gangs up there. Am I correct in, in saying that this is a military assault rifle? It's the go to war weapon. And the streets, where there's war, you can't take no nine, you can't take no revolver with six shots because after them six shots gone, you done. You gonna have five, or it's gonna come and spray your shit up, you know what I'm saying? You butt naked. No one feels safe anymore. Like, people just genuinely don't feel safe. Do you feel the same way in, in regards? Yeah, I feel the same way, too. I'd rather take my chances in the streets trying to fight my own way up out of it. You feel me? Let me ask you a question, man, because I, I feel you a, a conscious brother. Mm -hmm. Do you recognize the fact that there's a good chance that some of these weapons that are being sold are going to probably end up in the hood in another brother's hand, taking another brother's life? Does that bear any weight on you at all? It does. It bears weight on me, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of times, I sit and I think to myself, I can find a better way up out of this game. I feel like I don't have no other choice. Yes, sir.